Ivers is fulfilling a campaign promise to bring back the state pardons board. It was something Governor Scott Walker halted some eight years ago. Eric Franke joins us with more details on this. Eric? Mark and Susan, the governor did this through an executive order released today creating an eight-member pardon advisory board. Former Governor Walker did not consider any pardons in his eight years in office, but that is a governor's right according to the state constitution. It would allow those who were convicted of a felony to apply for a pardon after five years since the completion of their sentence. Former Madison Police Chief Noble Ray was among those named to this pardons board. I've had an opportunity to talk to the governor directly. I know this means a lot to him. Uh, you know, criminal justice reform. I know he believes in redemption. Redemption. You know, he's, he has mentioned it himself, second chances. But he also believes, and I think that's uh, also part of the insight that I bring, also making sure that while we're doing this, that we're keeping Wisconsin communities safe. To a little bit on how it works. A pardon just restores certain rights, like voting rights, but it doesn't clear their records. The governor will not consider commutations of prison sentences, which previous governors could do, but haven't done since 1995. Also, we should point out there's a new requirement here under Governor Evers' plan, and that is that anyone on the sex offender registry is ineligible for a pardon. Mark and Susan. Thank you, Eric. You're welcome.